Assalamualaikum. Hey guys. So I recently came back from London and of course when in London you have to drop by their drugstore Boots and Superdrug which is like the most like the two most famous drugstores over in UK. So I went there and I feel like they have a lot of different brands, a lot of selection of makeup. It was too overwhelming. This is not going to be a long haul or anything like that um, because I don't have like a lot or a ton of product but I have like some couple of different things that I want to try and also I want to include in this video some haul from the US and some from Sephora. I just want to include in this video as well. Let's go ahead and get started with the video. So, um, I actually bought a lot of stuff from Superdrug. I feel like they have like a bigger store, like makeup, like beauty section. So I bought some from Superdrug. This is a plastic bag, but I have all the stuff laid out in front of me. So basically, most of the makeup have like discounts, like 3 for 2 products. So um, some of them are like Revlon, L'Oreal, Maybelline. So like when I went in there, I was like, oh my god, I am in makeup heaven because like our drugstore, they don't really have a lot of selection and they have like limited like shades and products in store. So you get what I mean. Start with uh, L'Oreal because when I went in Superdrug, um, there's a display of this like new range of like sculpting um, infallible you know the infallible line it sort of go hand in hand together first thing that I got is the L'Oreal Paris infallible sculpt this is a contouring um, palette this is a cream contour this is light medium 01 it looks like this it's a cream contouring product I actually thought this was like powder because I don't know, I've been into like um, contouring and highlighting kick at the moment. So some of the stuff I bought is more of like highlighting and contouring and bronzing and stuff like that. This was 3 for 2 also for this range and for other like L'Oreal products. Next product that goes with the contouring um, palette is the Blush Sculpt. This is a trio contouring blush. This is in Nude Beige. Um, they have in this in two shades um, as you can see it's really really pretty you can really use this to for eyeshadow also if you want and it's really really pigmented like highlight shade I don't know if you guys can see it but that's the shades right there on my hand if they have another one which is more pink but I thought like this kind of shade is uh, more suitable with my skin tone. Next um, product which goes hand in hand together is this L'Oreal Infallible Sculpt Contouring Base. So when I saw this, it intrigued me to test it out because this is like a base or a foundation which helps when you are um, cream contouring with this um, product. So it's going to create a really smooth base, a really smooth canvas for sculpting and highlighting your face. So the next product from L'Oreal I got is um, the L'Oreal Paris La Palette Nude, which is this one. We don't have it here in Malaysia yet. Um, and this one is actually a bit different from the one um, in the States. And the shades are all a bit different. In the States it's a bit bigger, this one is a bit slimmer. And I got this in the shade Rose, which is more of like a purpley um, shade. And these are the colors. Um, they are more um, of like the purple and kind of cool tone shades. So you like purples and um, some grays. So it's going to complement each other really, really well. So you can do a lot of looks with this palette. They have another two shades, but I only got this because I feel like the other shades are quite similar with other palettes that I have and I wanted to try something else. So this color scheme is kind of like similar to my Morphe brushes, single eyeshadows that I just hauled. The next product that I got is this Maybelline Master Sculpt uh, Contouring Palette. This one is in light medium. So it looks like this. Um, it has the contouring shade and the highlighting shade which I feel like can 
will suit my skin because the darker one is a bit too like dark and it won't suit my skin that much but this one I think I, f I feel like it's gonna suit my skin it doesn't show up like really dark on the skin but I feel like it can be like a really soft contour shade and the highlight is really really pretty too so yeah I'm excited so like I said I'm the highlighting and contouring kick so um, in super drug um, they have a revolution makeup display of like different brands that we don't really hear about so much in the states or like Gloria Revlon so this is one this is the radiance palette this was actually eight pounds um, this is a highlighter palette I wanted to try something which has like all highlight shades because most of my um, the kits that I have with me are contouring kits Oh, it's hard to open. One is in Radiance. It looks like this. It has three different highlighting shades. One is for like fair skin tone, for medium skin tone, and for darker skin tone. I'm going to swatch this for you guys. This is the first shade. This one right here. And the second shade is this one. It's really, really pretty. Um... Okay, and the last shade is more of like a peachy shade. It's this one right here. This is actually really easy to travel with because you have like um, options. Also from L'Oreal, because it was like 3 for 2. And also from Maybelline, I got a backup of my L'Oreal Telescopic Extra Black <coughs> Mascara. <coughs> Sorry. I got three of this, like two of this black one. The other one is the regular one with the gold tube. And I got my Maybelline Brow Drama in brown. So the last last year when I went, I actually bought this, but it was in transparent. And these are the last products um, from Superdrug and Boots. Like it's a mixture of both um, from both drugstore. So I went there and I was looking for Tanya Burr Cosmetics um, range in Superdrug because they only carry it in Superdrug. So I was lucky enough to have like seen it um, um, at the checkout counter. So I bought her uh, Tanya Burr Cosmetics Hollywood Eye Palette. So this is the palette. It's really, really pretty. It has Tanya Burr's face at the back. So this one is Hollywood Eye Palette. It is more of a like Hollywood glam um, kind of eyeshadow this is really really pretty it has some gold some bronzy shade some transition color highlighting shade so it's really really pretty I'm excited to try this and this kit is actually really handy if you are on the go it has a mirror so you can touch up um, when you're outside or going somewhere and I also bought her Perfect Brows Brow Kit. This one, yeah, it looks like this. It has like four different shades. Uh, this one is more for highlight highlighting the brow bones. This one is for like more of blondes, like brunettes, um, redheads. So it comes with a brow brush and a little tweezer, a little mini tweezer, which is great. And the last product that I got from Tanya Burr Cosmetics um, is this individual lashes. So, yeah, it contains um, short, medium, and long false lashes and a lash glue. Looks like this. I wanted to try her like different false lashes, but I feel like they kind of look similar with what I had. So I just wanted to try this because she always uses. Um, her individual lashes and they look great on her so i went to selfridges and i actually wanted this product for so long because i've seen it like everywhere it's like the most high product ever and i feel like they're not wrong about this product so the product that i'm talking about is the charlotte tilbury film star bronze and glow when I was in Selfridges, I was really determined to get this because it's actually cheaper to buy um, there than if you were to order yourself. Crazy, crazy expensive. So I went there and I bought this. Um, it has a really nice packaging as well. So it looks like this. It has a rose gold cover. 
um, and it's really really pretty guys so you have like your two sculpting and highlighting kit so basically when I watch a lot of like YouTube videos like different skin tones can really adapt to this um, shade they actually came out with a darker shade but I think this one will suit my skin because I've seen a lot more like darker complexion girls um, wearing this and it looked great on them so Anastasia Beverly Hills recently came out with um, glow kits it's this one um, glow kits uh, they have two different shades one is that glow and the other one is um, gleam this one is that glow so basically you can use it um, for different skin tones like for glow kit as you can see it's like really bronze really pretty this is more for medium to darker skin tones and this one gleam is more for like fair to light so this is in the shade gleam i've actually used like the two shades here because it's really really pretty and it looks like this um, i'm going to use this in a tutorial um so and this one is gleam gleam is more pink more cooler tone shades um, but they're all really really pretty I think both um, palettes suit a lot of skin tone Dose of Colors recently came out with it's not really that recent but yeah it's recent enough um, they came out with their first ever eyeshadow palette this is uh, the Hidden Treasure palette Ta-da! It's really really pretty. Um, I'm so excited to have bought this um, and it has one two three four it has four matte shades and all the other shades are like foiled eyeshadows which is really really pretty. I'm excited to use all of this makeup in a tutorial which I can just like show you guys. Oh and the last product that I got um, I actually bought in Sephora so now Sephora Malaysia has an online store which was Luxola before so I got a blush palette looks like this um, this is also a really handy product to bring when you are traveling because it has a lot of different shades most of them are shimmery yeah I think all of them are shimmery you can use this to bronze up your skin if you like fair enough and to be honest I don't really like the packaging on this um, but I like the blushes so much so yeah basically that is all for my haul thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys have a great day, night, whatever you guys are doing. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!